So we watched Warcraft, and I said it's probably one of the better ones, but it's not saying much or something to that extent. No, not at all. I think I'm going to say the exact same thing about Tomb Raider. It's one of the better ones of video game movies. I didn't. I don't think it's as good as Warcraft, and that's really? sad. Um, There's a lot of really, like, over-cliché parts oh, of the yeah. genre. Oh, my God. Remember when so he cliche. fell into the pit backwards? Like, ah, that shot pissed me off. A lot of the clichés. The first, like... Everything up until the point where she goes to the island, where she's a bike courier, and she's signing documents, and she's moody. And all that stuff was furiating. Like, it felt like it was... Premium. I thought it was a better part of the Remember movie. Remember Premium Rush? Some... Oh, you didn't see Premium Rush. Why would I see Premium Rush? Joseph Gordon-Levitt, where he rides a bike. Why would I see <laughs> Premium Rush? Yeah, it's, it's the bike. It felt like Premium Rush for all of 20 minutes, and then it was Tomb Raider. Except not really. It was more like Indiana Jones, but a girl. Yeah, well, that's what Tomb Raider kind of is. Yeah. But that's but... what kind of draws me away. From a lot of these kinds of movies, since they're all Indiana Jones copies. Well, the games were influenced a lot by Indiana Jones, obviously. Yeah. But they're games. That's the the the. Yeah, it, you can use that. It's like moniker. saying it's like saying Indiana Jones, but a game form, and that kind of piques your interest. Yep. This, but this is, is Indiana Jones, but a woman form, and you're like, but I want to watch Indiana. Th- yeah, this Jones. is Indiana Jones, but a game, but actually a movie. But no, Indiana Jones is the movie of Indiana yeah. Jones. Like there's so you four of them. Yeah, it's really like hard three. to do. If you made it good, I wouldn't mind. Exactly. Really, really weak with the script. Oh my like, god! Like half the dialogue. Again, they did the thing <laughs> where they opened with three minutes of exposition, and then he said the exposition later again. It's like throwing a dart roll all over. Like they again. literally just played the recording. Oh, what was the last movie that did that? That we said it's like throwing the dark world all over again. Oh, it's like that remember. movie too. All over. I don't again. remember. Uh, don't open up with that exposition and then say more exposition. Yeah, later and then ten minutes no. later, after you establish a character a little bit. She's like, ooh, what's all this stuff in her in my basement? And then she re- watches the video, which I thought, okay, the video is an interesting way to, to give us exposition. Yeah. And then immediately after she it's closes the, the thing, exposition. you just hear audio recordings of her father going, you know what, you need to get to the thing because this thing is going to get you to the thing and the thing is going to open the logical thing. It's going to open. It's like, no! <laughs> no, not again. Oh, not Queen it. Hikomo or whatever that's what was. That's what's called uh, the phone scroll part of the movie where yeah. you just look down and go through Facebook for all of a minute and then it goes back to the movie. Because yeah. you just derail the movie. All right. All right, let's talk about... Do you want to do don't like or like first? Well, let's start with what we liked, oh. because it's smaller. <laughs> um, What, do you want to talk about don't like? Did no, we like can talk about things we like first. Okay. <laughs> You're so, right. It immediately gives away what we think about the movie, of course. But... Um, there wasn't bad effects. Yeah, I thought the, uh, the it CGI was, was, a lot of was par. Pretty yeah, solid, pretty you know. Good. Yeah. good. Uh, Ooh, can she I say looks something? like Tomb Raider. She does. She's. Um, I think she's doing the best with what she's given. Can I say something that really made me really, really happy, especially in the last half? Did they not do the big CGI mess thing? I, uh, <laughs> one act into the movie when the guy's like, she's going to unleash her evil army. I said to you, what's going to happen is they're going to go to the fucking tomb. There's going to be some espionage and they're going to unleash a thousand evil undead corpses and she has to fight them all and escape with no, her dad. No, they did the opposite of that, Exactly. Nice. So toward And then right at the end of the movie where they're about to take her out of the tomb, they're all like, oh my God, she has an evil army. Look at all these dead bodies around us. They're not going to they come back. They faked this out, yeah. They faked this out. I thought, oh no, <laughs> it's going to be a big CGI mess. <laughs> no. And I said to you, this movie will go, go up one whole notch on a scale of one to 10 if it doesn't. And it didn't. And I am so happy i'm not happy with the movie but i'm happy in that one aspect that that happened that is honest yeah no, it was unironic than, it props. was a better end than i thought it would be and then they completely ruined it by doing the actual ending uh, i didn't hate the actual ending you, it's so when she overdone. spoilers by the way when she um discovers that her aunt is actually the head of trinity which is actually pedantic yeah, you know what? That's overdone. Panorama like bread? the per- because they did like the cut in the elevator, and she looked. Oh my god! I've so seen that she in, was, like twenty other movies. She was going through the book of all the companies that she owned, and she and happened to open to that page. Well, it's, the company started with a P, but I could have swore I saw Panera Bread. Above <laughs> <laughs> they own Panera Bread. <laughs> what, if, what if they took like a bunch of companies that start with P? They're like billion dollar companies. Yeah, there was a whole book. Okay, no, no, talk about things we like. Like, start with things, uh, yeah, we gotta start off with things like, um, I like that it corrected itself, because at first I thought, you and I both, you pointed this out to me, and I was like, oh yeah, that, um, seven years ago she was oh five God. years old. Okay. Which they means that thing, she would be 12 years old. They did a thing where she le- where her, her dad left, but she was seven. Like years seven. Ago. Yep. And, and then, then she like, said, she's not 14. Yeah, and she then, said seven years ago he left, and it cut back to her as like five years old. <laughs> yeah. And I was but like, then what? it cut back again. 
to him actually leaving, and I'm like, that makes a yeah, little bit more like sense. Yeah, she was like 14-ish. Actually, exactly 14. I looked it up. I had to look it up. It was pissing me off, but I didn't yeah. look it up. So I had to look it up, and she was 14 when he left, so she's 21 now. Um, fine. The flashback stuff was fine. Uh, I really mm-hmm. wasn't sold in the flashback stuff. I thought if you cut that fine. out of the movie, it's A, it's <laughs> streamlined and shorter to the ending, which is yeah. great, and B, completely flows fine. Like, they really didn't add um, anything. Besides like, shots of him without the beard. I like the, uh, I like the, the end. Like, where they, like, touch the thing, and it's the thing. It's the disease. Oh, a disease, yeah. The disease thing was really cool. It, it wasn't, like, supernatural magic bullshit. Yeah, you know it what? It was, like, disease. Well, it was supernatural magic bullshit, but it I'll was give him props. There were ways to screw that up, and with the thousand army CGI monster thing could have happened, and yeah. I'm, I'm... Or having I'm, her come to life and being, like, a big ghost specter flying around Or her dad gets shit. possessed, and she has to fight her de- possessed dad. Because that, we've seen that or in the Or the bad guy gets possessed, and she has to fight the bad guy. Do you guy. see what I mean of all these tropes and cliches? And I'm not saying the disease isn't trope or cliche. Cliche, but I'm saying but it's, it's a better, a better route than it could have gone, one. and that's why it's not like a one out of ten. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, that's true. I'm leaning between. No, wait, hold on, no, no, that's the end. We talk about the score at the end. Okay, 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 okay. More th- the rest of the things more we like. More things we like. More things we like. Uh, the actress in it is great, like we said. Uh, uh, I don't think she's great. Oh yeah, well she's okay with what she's given. Yes, but that's all I can say because yeah. we're positive. I, I do have to say one bad thing about her once we get to the bad things. So okay, lead off with it immediately. Sure. Her dad was pretty cool. Oh, uh, can we please just go to the bad things? There's not much. No, 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 no. We gotta stay, stay with it just a little bit longer. Okay. I, uh, she had nice abs. The chase scene through the boatyard was pretty decent. Oh, oh, oh! Um, probably my favorite part of the movie. Can yeah, we? that was I can't the only good part. That was, was like um, a really good not, part. Not that actually. It was the part where she was in the rusty plane above the waterfall. Um, I like that. That was a lot of coincidence, and you really had to suspend your disbelief, but it wasn't bad. Um. It, not too much. I didn't like how she didn't just run the other way on that wing. Well, there was nothing to nowhere to go. She could just stay it was just like rock. a rock in the middle. She would have just stayed there forever. Yeah, but it was going to creak and like she had to go past the middle of it, which would fall down immediately, and it did fall down immediately. And she's like, this is the smarter option than just staying on the safe rock. Nope, let's do that. Well, if you stay on the safe rock, you're a sitting duck for the guy. Hunting yeah, but down. then, but in Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, the original Tomb Raider, Lara Croft with Angelina Jolie, she jumped off the waterfall. There was also a scene in that movie where she does bungee ju- guard jumping to stop them in the mansion. It's a bad movie. It's a but, terrible movie. Yeah, it's really. This is better than both of them, both of the other sequels. Yeah. Wow. Um, I'm not surprised at all. Yeah. Because it's a movie. But no, I like the um the rusty plane sequence, and I think I like the chase it. scene. It was actually really nice. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I'll end it there. What do you think about things you didn't like? Oh, she couldn't cry worth a damn. Oh, she, she not she. I didn't expect her to cry. In that um, movie. when her dad was dying, he wasn't dying. Yeah, what? Oh, when he had the disease, I thought you meant about she the video. didn't cry at all. She sat I there. I saw a tear. No. Yeah, so it was nope. in her right eye. I remember. It no, was there was no tear. Well, maybe she it was a glisten. Thing, she did the thing where she like closed her eyes to gloss them by. Well, like, she's got to be brave that. in that moment. Oh, you don't have to be brave in that moment. Yes, if you if your father's dying, she's and brave enough to him. go to this island yeah, when he says, okay. "Don't go to this island." But when you finally get him back, and then he's like, "I have a disease and I'm dying." You don't. Cr- I was like, "Damn, that's not." Ah. Mm. There were like three opportune moments to see now, like crying. See, I don't take issue with that because I didn't expect her in that scene to. Well, she could. I did. She could have definitely did, but. I think that if she because she made that crying face with no tears happening, which pisses me off when people she, like half cry. She, she didn't did do that. No. do that. She just looked at. She him. looked sad. She did the she kissy did, like, thing, the, the and then you saw up. her face kind of go to more brave. I kind of, I kind of. I don't know. That. I I didn't like that scene mm, because okay. it looked like she they were setting her up to cry, and then she just mm. tried. Maybe they and cut then it out of the movie. Yeah, because they were setting up for it, and then she did like the eye thing, and well, then, I'm actually kind of glad she didn't. I'm worse if she cried. Her crying sets up. Or having emotions at all. No, she has emotions. I just, I don't think that that scene, if she were to cry in that scene, would be, would really add anything to the movie. I mean, she, we've already established her as, like, a badass to make it all the way to the island and have an argument with her dad about, like, why didn't you do this stupid thing, you stupid idiot? Yeah. He's a stupid idiot, by the way. Uh, things they didn't like, idiot. anything that the dad did. <laughs> he was kind of dumb, yeah. He discovered the secret out of this, like, 30-man crew. He's the one guy who discovered, like, oh, hey, it's gonna unleash hell on the world. So instead of telling him, hey, if you do this, the world's going to die. He did, and he didn't believe him because it's all supernatural magic No, be, but but then the, the guy, like, he's he said that he killed him, but he didn't kill him, so why did you think that you killed him? Like, what happened there? That's I think he just flashing. lied, so she'd she, help him. But that doesn't make any... But he said he thought he was dead. I wish I knew you weren't dead. He said that to oh, him. Oh, maybe he's just dumb. Yeah, like, what... I and, didn't like the villain very much. The villain? Forehead. No. I didn't like the dad villain any, any of that relationship. I didn't like that whole dynamic there where it's like, you gotta help me unlock the thing. You're the missing piece. You have the missing piece. And then what he does with the missing piece is like, oh, I'm gonna leave it at home. Actually, no, I'm gonna... What the hell did he do with it? He mailed it to... No, because it was at home, even though he, that he went to the island and wrote it. 
but he went back to home and left it there? Instead of burning it, he's gonna be like, I'm gonna wait till I die and then let Laura burn it. And then he leaves, and then he makes a video before he leaves to look. Like, it's so convoluted. Yeah, I didn't I like, don't like none that. of it made any sense. Yeah. That's one of, like, the spy I movies can't make things. words because I'm too angry at this stupid fucking plot. Another thing, oh my god. There were so many opportune moments for people to kill other people while they were trying to kill other people, and they just didn't. That pissed me off so much. She should have died, like, 20 times by those guys with guns. She, she fell sucks. out of, like, the rusty plane off the Yeah, like, the four times. Like, she got stabbed in the gut. Bullshit. She parachuted the Absolute trees. Bullshit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Remember when she went down? They, she, they could have just killed her dad right there. There was no need to keep him alive anymore because it was open. In fact, a couple they scenes should've... prior to that, the guy's like, I'm too sick to work, and he shoots him in the head. Yeah. So that establishes him as someone who just doesn't give a shit. Yeah, he so, should have just killed him. Yeah, he could have just killed him. You see? Oh. There are so many parts. And when he puts the gun down and goes, cool, you'll help me. She still has the bow and arrow in her hand. She could have just gone, poof, and killed him and stopped it. There was one guy with a gun who had a fucking arrow in his side. You could have just killed him too. There were three more guys running around. You didn't have to wait for them. Or you could have waited and just killed them. There was no need for the in, like half of the film to happen. Mm-hmm. But and you, it just happened for the sake of the film. You know what? I really like the bow and arrow shots. I'm going to give her a 10 out of 10. What do you think? Uh, you know, this movie's my favorite movie. That, no. Fuck. <laughs> I'm not even done. The soundtrack for this movie is pure stock garbage, and it made me so angry. It switched between stock garbage and, and terrible pop. Song. Yep. Terrible pop music. It's like a wrinkle in time, but worse uh, with the sounds, because yeah. at least they had good uh, ambient sound. This movie didn't have any ambient sound. Yeah, it was just wrinkle like, had better sound than this one. Barely. I'm going to have to say barely, because the pop songs, that pissed me off. Although, I will say that Tomb Raider didn't bore me. Oh, it God. annoyed me sometimes, but it didn't, like... No, it kept you engaged because it's an action movie. Yeah, and action movies are supposed to give you like surprisingly. Engaged. There's not a lot of action, and I think I'm saying that now because not necessarily that there wasn't enough action, but like points that didn't have action were really bland and badly yeah. written. And I was looking for more. Okay, immerse me into this world. Don't don't just have her stand there and say something with a bow in her hand to someone with a gun and just have a conversation. Yeah. Like this is the dialogue is shit. The story is shit. The reason you're even on this fucking island doesn't make any sense. Do you remember the scene? Where instead of just pushing the ladder while he was on it, she jumped on the ladder and started karate kicking him. <laughs> she has a pickaxe in her hand. He's tiptoeing across this 20-foot chasm. And he has a shot in his leg. She can just kick the ladder up, and then she he just falls. Not here. No, he you don't even need to do that. You pull the ladder like this, jar him, keep it in your hands, and then yeah. put it back so you can walk across. It's perfect. Or she could just throw the pickaxe at his head. She's dumb. Walk up to him, stab him in the head, walk back. But she it's, hurls herself. It's like a five-year-old is playing the game. It's like a five-year-old wrote the script. Yeah. It's like a five-year-old took the script to a really good Indiana Jones-esque movie and wrote, yeah, I think she should jump from the thing to the ladder to jump the body, and, and then they have a fight fight. Granted, it's a cool <laughs> jump, and the shots in this movie when she's doing action stuff mm -hmm. are pretty decent. Yeah, nothing technically wrong with this movie, as far as that goes. I, I don't like, I again, I don't like the shot where he's falling into the cliff going like this. It's so stupid. Uh, it's pretty it's stupid. It's overused. It's cliche. It's not even a good shot. But aside from that shot, I think the other two hours of it is yeah. fine. And then you get things in this movie, you're like, stop talking and do something. And then when they're doing something, they're doing it really stupidly. <laughs> yeah. Anything that they said that they did previously makes no sense, and anything that they currently do in the movie also makes no sense. Yeah. Imagine trying to fight these people, and then having a chance... I'll help you. He puts down his gun. Shoot him. I think That's this is it. exactly in the same realm as Warcraft for me, where it's better than most video game movies, but it's still not good enough to like, recommend. I would not well, say, hey, go see Tomb Raider 2018. I would never say that. I had the that. guys in the bathroom that were talking about it say, it's great, and she's so good. And I'm like, uh, the script <laughs> doesn't make her so good. The script <laughs> you didn't makes say her... that because you were trying to take a piss, probably. Uh, no, I was thinking in my head, like, the script does not make her look so good. <laughs> it makes her look like she picked a real shitty movie role. So, out of ten... And then we can... 10 out of 10, I told you! <laughs> okay, now real out of 10. 11 out of 10. God, I don't know. Um, I'm between 3 and 4. I was about to say, like, 3 and a half. Ah, uh, same as me! I can't give it... I gave Warcraft, like, a 4 and a half, because it was, like, pretty, mm -hmm. and some of the characters were good, and yeah, some yeah, of I the think stuff was decent. I still think Warcraft is technically, in my opinion, the best video game. I think it's Assassin's Creed. It's no, you don't. It's you can't so even lie. Bad. Oh. Michael Fassbender in that movie doesn't look like he knows how to act anymore. He like forgot. 
He has amnesia from the fucking what do they call it? The animus. God, he just takes the worst roles. You know what? Magneto is like the only good role he's picked in love recent years. Um, I haven't seen Shame. I want to see Shame with him. It's what was that last movie we saw? Oh, Alien Covenant, where he kisses himself. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's a good. pretty good now, one. To be fair, I enjoyed a lot of that movie. Next video game movie's Rampage. Oh God, it's not far. It's but like a couple weeks away. Is, I don't even think it's going to be a video game movie. You know how um, Dax, whatever the fuck his last name is, is like, I'm using chips as my scapegoat for this script. Oh, Dax Shepard. Yeah, like, Dax And Shepard. the one safety net that I have for this it's movie chips. is chips. I think someone wanted to write a really cool monster movie, like a Godzilla mm-hmm. movie. The Godzilla people told him no, right. so he's like, I'm going to write Rampage instead. We talked a lot about IP and w- why someone would definitely do that with their script. So that kind of does make sense because it's not really Rampage someone's at all. Someone's like, I want to write... A Godzilla versus Kong movie, and they're like too fucking bad. And this person's like, I'm doing it anyway and making a rampage because it's a giant alligator yep. and a monkey. Yep. And there's also a wolf in there for that some reason. That flies. That could be Mothra in the yeah. original script. So maybe it's their version of Kong versus Godzilla. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Mm-hmm. No, fuck off. And then another executive's like, wait a minute, we can make this not Godzilla or Kong. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. I don't know if it will count as a video game movie, at least to me. Because uh, if you're just using the IP and then making something completely separate, well, I don't think that's... If I'm being it. honest, it doesn't matter anyway, because I don't think it's going to be a fresh on Tomatoes. But. Yeah. All right, catch you guys next week for Think About a Thing.